Hey there, Pisces. Welcome to your reading for the week of March 13th. This week, we're just going to jump right in here and we're going to see what is going on for you. You have this uh, growing up card. It says relying on others to help you and hoping to be saved. Um, you know, again, I definitely feel this energy for you, Pisces. I don't think it's like a bad thing is what I would say. I think that because to me, this is more popping into my head as like you having a realization that you the only person you can save is yourself and i do feel like this could be in work or business you know a lot of you know what i will say to you is that a lot of what is going on here is you know pluto and aquarius and also we have neptune moving into aries in 2026 i know that it's not there yet obviously but what i would say is that we're you know getting closer and closer to that energy and i've literally been saying that you know neptune and aries is like looking for a savior looking for someone to save you or looking for someone to you know pull you out of a mess but the only person that can do that is you. And this might not even, you know, I want to stress that this might not even be a big deal. <laughs> you know, it could just be that you want to grow your business or you want to make some sort of change, but you're not sure what direction to go in. You're not sure like what changes to make in your life, you know? And I get, I actually don't think this is a bad reading, Pisces, but I do get like a little bit of overthinking energy. I also kind of feel like there are some things that you don't want to do. And I feel like this is saying like, don't do things that you don't want to do. I know that sounds simple, but you know, too many people, I think, live their lives doing things that they hate. And, you know, it's like we shouldn't be doing things that we hate. And of course, there's always exceptions. Someone always leaves me a comment, you know, like, what about this? What about that? I'm like, yeah, okay. Well, it's like, that's part of life. There are certain responsibilities, certain things that we will always have to do. And in those situations, how can you find the good in it, <laughs> right? It's like, uh, you know, someone always gives me like jury duty. I'm like, yes, jury duty is annoying and terrible. But it's like, can you create a good situation? Can you meet someone awesome? Can you listen to an audio book while you're in jury duty waiting to, for your name to be called? They're like, whatever, right? So, so that's part of growing up, right? But I feel like there are other things that you could be doing that you don't want to do. This card says, heal your wounded inner child to get ahead in your career. Um, again, definitely, I feel this is financial because of the Ace of Pentacles. Um, you have the Four of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, and the Judgment card. I didn't even notice this right here. The Judgment to the Tower is the most powerful combination in the tarot. Judgment to Tower kind of represents um, like a major revelation, a major wake up call. So, but this would, you know, it's going up to the high priestess, it's going up to you. So it's really telling me that you personally are having a wake up call. You could be, you know, looking at some things that need nurturing, again, with that uh, child uh, growing up card there, you know, maybe there are some things that happen in your, in your childhood that just no longer serve you that are preventing you from growing in your business. It's like, you know, I think we all have things and again, it's like you didn't even necessarily have to have trauma when you were a child. It's like there are little things that I think happen when we're kids, basically, that kind of affect us when we're older that just don't matter, right? Like maybe we were in a situation where we were like embarrassed <laughs> or something when we were like five years old and now it creates all these problems in our love life or maybe it creates all these problems in business or maybe someone criticized one of our ideas once and so now we think all of our ideas are stupid. And I feel like this is saying like, no, that maybe when you were a kid, it's like maybe thinking that you were gonna sell lollipops for the rest of your life, maybe that's stupid, but actually probably not. Um, but it's like your idea now as an adult is not stupid. It just needs to be nurtured. I also feel like there's a little bit of fear going on here because of this right here, four cups, thinking that things are gonna go how they went the last time. Those are the words that are popping into my head. Thinking that if you, <clears throat> you know, start a business or thinking that if you leave some sort of comfort zone that there's going to be a disaster. Like we literally go like this to tower to the Knight of Pentacles think this direction here, thinking that if you do something new or do something different, that it's going to cause a tower moment, but it just isn't. Again, I feel like a lot of you could be waking up to a lot of like realizations, you know, a lot of um, new understandings about kind of like some changes that you need to make in your life or whatever, right? Uh, it's interesting as well that in your last row, it's going to represent your the good stuff. So it doesn't matter what shows up in the last row here, but you have the three of swords. So I see like a lot of deep healing for you this week and kind of like a lot of, um, you know, w like waking up energy going on here. So 
you know, I don't, I like it. <laughs> With the four cups, you have the high priestess. Yes, you need to trust your intuition. Very, I feel like you're very powerful this week. Again, everybody's had the tower in March. It wouldn't surprise me. You're the first reading that I'm doing for these weeklies. As always, I always do you first, Pisces. And, um, you know, it wouldn't surprise me if, again, it's like another week where everyone has a tower. I would not be surprised if, like, this is the week that we see a global tower moment. So, you know, keep your head on straight. Trust your intuition here. Uh, you have the um, Ace of Pentacles. And with the Ace of Pentacles, you have the Hierophant. If, if you want love, you know, right here, Hierophant, Ace of Pentacles, lovers, there could be new love coming in for you. <coughs> but, sorry, I'm choking. But it looks like to me that some of you could be like in a healing period in love. So I don't know, this could be moving a little bit slowly. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait till we get to the Knight of Pentacles because I have a feeling that could be the person. And here you go with the Judgment card, you have the Page of Pentacles. So there's clearly gonna be communication uh, with a person if you want love. And um, you know, obviously if you don't want love, this could be some sort of news that you're getting here. And so I feel like you need to kind of like, this could be like good news. It could be revelation news where you kind of like realize something in your life about, you know, like again, childhood trauma or, you know, things that have been holding you back for a long time. And it looks to me like you're either fixing these things or you're fi figuring out how to heal these things with the page of pentacles. Next, uh, you have this card that says, don't take action. And when there's a feeling of resistance, obviously. <laughs> so the whole entire reading has been saying this basically. I kind of, I'm, I I don't know if I can say this word on YouTube because YouTube is so freaking ridiculous nowadays, but it kind of, um, I kind of saw this as an explosion, like an atomic one. So I'm going to say it backwards. So YouTube doesn't know what I'm saying, but um, you know, if, if you catch my drift here, Pisces, I'm not, I'm not saying that's what's going to happen, but there could be some sort of explosive revelation coming out, like in the world. It wouldn't really surprise me, or if there was like some sort of explosion, you know, you know what I'm saying here, who knows? Um, but what I would say is, again, I feel like you need to make sure that you're not doing things that you hate uh, with this. I don't know why that's so important this week, but I feel like it is. Uh, you have the Eight of Wands, the Tower. In the lovers, I do feel that if you do want love, there could be surprise communication in love. And, you know, you have the Eight of Wands and the Tower. This could be someone from a distance. Um, you know, the Eight of Wands can represent the distance and the Tower can also represent a move. I'm pretty sure I said something about a move to you like a while ago. Well, I've been saying it for a long time, but it came up, it started coming up again like last week. And you have this house card here. So it wouldn't really surprise me if some of you were like traveling, moving, or kind of finding a new location to live. You could be at a little bit of a crossroads right now. And, um, you know, as with everyone else, <laughs> the whole entire reading is saying you need to be brave. You need to be be assertive. You need to move in the new direction. You need to start something new, you know, especially for those of you in work or business, if you want to start something new. I want to stress that if you're perfectly happy doing what you're doing, keep doing what you're doing. There's no reason to quit your job if you have a good job or a good business or whatever. But what I would encourage you to do is looking for new ways of doing things inside your job or inside your business. People always say, Chris, you keep saying that this every single reading. And I keep saying, then why haven't you done something new yet? right? All the benefits, all the future success, all the future fortunes are going to come th through doing new things, experimenting, trying something new. So do it. You have the uh, tower, some sort of major revelation. I actually feel pretty good about this. Again, globally, I'm not so sure. But as far as you personally, I feel like there could be a wake up call going on here where you have a realization. I'm not going to lie. I feel for some of you, you know, this could be a re re uh, revelation that makes you a little bit nervous. I, I have something about timing popping into my head. Like maybe you realize that you've wasted a bunch of time in business. It's like on one hand, it kind of like sucks because maybe you've realized that you haven't been doing something that you should be doing. But on the other hand, I feel like now you can fix it, you know? So I kind of feel like you feel that way this week, uh, the 13th, you know? I feel like you kind of are maybe looking at some things and saying like, well, it sucks that I didn't do this sooner, but I can do it right now. So I, I actually feel like your mindset is kind of like going the right direction. You have the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands is quick success. So I feel that if you're noticing anything that needs to be fixed in your life, I feel like you could be fixing things very, very quickly with the Eight of Wands. Again, you're coming up with quick solutions. 
Like I said, judgment and tower is no joke in a reading. It is very powerful. It represents, like I said, a major revelation, a major wake up call. So you're like waking up to some sort of, you know, new reality or something like that. The tower represents a new reality because it has to fall so that the people in the tower can see the new reality. <laughs> and that's like what's going on here, Pisces. With the eight of wands, you have the sun. Yes, see, see, the sun makes the reading more positive. So. What I would say here is that I feel like there's a lot more positivity coming in for you. I feel like there's a lot more happiness coming in for you with the Eight of Wands. Um, and it also makes this row a little bit more positive. So that's what I'll say there. Also, the sun, you know, it doesn't really represent a revelation necessarily, but, you know, the a sun shines a light on things. So we can become aware of things that we were not aware of before. And I kind of have this like awareness, sudden awareness coming in for you here, but it's like sudden awareness that leads to success. It is gonna require work. Like again, you could be realizing that there's something that requires a lot of work that you haven't been doing in your business or in your career. That's like the feeling I get here. And now you have to fix it. But at the same time, it's gonna lead to a lot of success. It's like the king, that king of wands, is saying to me that the juice is worth the squeeze. <laughs> so if you are realizing something this week, which it looks like you are, of like work that you need to do, this to me is saying it's worth it and it's gonna pay off quickly with that eight of wands. Yes, with the tower, you have the wheel of fortune. Very karmic reading here. And I don't mean like karmic as in karmic lover, but there's like a lot of karma. There's a lot of like fate going on here clearly in this reading, especially with the Wheel of Fortune. We want to be in control with the Wheel of Fortune. We want to be at the center of the wheel because that's where we are in control. It's like things can change around us, but we can see things coming. So we want to be in control of our life with the Wheel of Fortune. People always ask me, how do I take control? I always say, well, number one, there's normally a snake. You have the snake card here, which would represent controlling your vibrations, controlling your energy. But I would also say that we are like really bad at taking control of things in general. Like, um, you know, just for like some examples, if you ignore bills that come come in to your life, then you're ignoring, then you're not taking control, right? If you take a bill and you hide it, <laughs> so you don't look at it, then you're not taking control of your life. So maybe you're saying, well, I can't afford a bill. And it's like, yes, that that's true, right? You might not be able to afford a bill, but if you take the bill, you look at it, and maybe you call the company that you owe the bill to and you work something out, then you're taking control of your life. So this basically, I feel the tower, the judgment card. Again, I really get this feeling. I really don't know what I'm trying to say in your reading. It feels pretty deep to me here, Pisces, but it feels like, you know, you are, maybe you are starting to face things that need to be corrected, right? And you're taking control. It's like, maybe you don't have the perfect answer, right? It's like maybe calling up your credit card company and being like, I can't pay you this million dollars that I owe you. I made a mistake. Um, but, you know, maybe they're willing to work with you, right? And maybe it's not an ideal situation, but it's like you're taking control. I am convinced that once you take control like that, that the universe moves out of your way, but you have to do it first. Most people run and hide. I feel like this reading is saying, face it. But for some of you, I don't even think these are bad things. I think these are good things. With the lovers, you have the hermit. Could be a Virgo coming in for some of you. You showed up in Virgo's March reading, I believe, here, Pisces. So wouldn't surprise me. Could also, could just be Earth in general. Could also be a fire sign. And, you know, both kind of like stand out to me here and have been standing out to me for a while. Uh, next in the area of what you need to hear right now, you have this house. It says relocation home. You also have this snake. It says desire and attraction on it. Um, if you're attracting love, again, clearly you, this King of Wands here, I feel like there is a lot of desire and attraction between you and another person. Again, we're getting to that time of year where I think this year, 2023, we're getting to the time where it, it would make perfect sense that you would be finding love right now, um, just based off your astrology. So that makes sense to me. I also get something here about some of you being kind of like pushed to move. It's very interesting. <laughs> you know, for a very small percentage of you, this might make sense. For others, maybe not. So take it how it resonates. But for some of you, it's almost like, like I feel like for some of you, it's like maybe you get a new landlord or, um, you know, it's like something happens where you have to move. It's, it's almost like I see you like not wanting to move and just in my head if I zone out. And it's like, you don't want to move, but then you move and you're happy that you did. It's, I, I don't see you like getting evicted or anything. That's not what I'm talking about. It's like, maybe your landlord comes to you and is like, hey, uh, you know, I'm about to be foreclosed on this house. So sorry, but you have to move, right? right? Or something like that. It doesn't even feel like that. It's like, for some of you, it's like maybe your landlord is coming to you and being like, hey, uh, my family wants to move into this house. So you gotta go, I'm not re-renting it, right? But it's almost like it's a blessing 
blessing in disguise. So for the small percentage of you that that happens to, I would say it's a blessing in disguise. I think that you're going to find something much better, you know, possibly cheaper, but better. Um, I also feel for those of you that are like looking for a new place to live, you could be finding like a really good deal. You know, the market seems to be <laughs> going in the wrong direction. I keep encouraging people to rent. I've been saying this since like 2016 that I would be renting. I wouldn't necessarily be buying unless you can get a really good deal on a house just because, you know, it doesn't look good to me as far as I'm concerned. I know, you know, everybody can say whatever they want, but, um, you know, again, just based off the astrology, I think we're heading into, I wouldn't necessarily say maybe a collapse, but I think there are going to be some deep discounts coming up, but over the next few years. So I wouldn't be rushing to buy a house, but again, you if you find a good deal, like if there's something, like I always give the example, I have a friend in Seattle, They there was a murder that took place in the house that they bought, but because of that, the house was like deeply discounted because the cri a crime had taken place. So, you know, it's like one of those things, if you can find something like that, go for it. Uh, you have the High Priestess, the King of Wands, <clears throat> and the Knight of Pentacles here. You're showing up in a very wise position. That's the word that's popping into my head. I really feel you need to trust your intuition this week. You know, this is one of those weeks, Pisces, where I really feel you need to be very focused on yourself. I also feel like you need to be focused in general. You know, there could be things happening around you. There could be things happening in the world with the tower. And I just get this feeling that there could be like opportunities and work and business that could lead to a lot of success for you, but you have to see those opportunities. You know, I feel like this is like saying it might be a good week for you to kind of like, you know, look into mysteries, right? We see this right here with the Page of Swords. It might be a good week for you to withdraw a little bit. And I'm not suggesting that you don't socialize or anything like that, but I just get this feeling of like there being a lot of opportunity if you can block out the noise from the outside world and if you can stay focused. So I would stay focused. You have the King of Wands. You know, I feel like there's a person coming in for you. And it could be a fire sign, doesn't matter what gender, whatever gender you're attracted to. It could be an earth sign as well. I, I would say that the King of Wands is more saying that I feel like you could be attracting someone who's very confident, bold, assertive. Um, you know, I, feel, I also feel like this person is very different than you as well. It's very interesting. <laughs> you know, it, you're, you're here watching tarot and it's like you could be attracting a person who has no interest at all in spirituality or tarot. It's like I'm seeing that in my head where it's like a person from a different world almost. But, you know, I feel like it really works. So for those of you looking for love, definitely a good person. I also would say Pisces, you know, I've been saying it for weeks, maybe years, that I feel like you need to embrace the King of Wands energy. He's willing to build anything and you have the tower. So clearly you could be building something very significant in your life, but it could be after some sort of loss or tower moment, or you could be rebuilding as well. Uh, you have the Knight of Pentacles is like, what are you waiting for? I, I, like, I feel like you can wait until, it, you know, the, the environment is perfect for you to get working, but you'll be waiting forever. So... Uh, as I always say to you, that Knight of Pentacles is saying, like, get your ass moving, Pisces. I feel that there's a lot of success for you, but it's not going to come, if you, obviously, if you don't do anything. With the High Priestess, you have the Two Wands. Yes, like I said, I feel like you're taking the lead this week. I really feel that you're in a very strong, like, leadership position, but, you know, I feel like you're taking the lead for yourself. Uh, with the King of Wands, you have the Queen of Swords. Yeah, you see something very clearly. There is a lot of clarity coming in for you. This could be after a tower moment. Again, you could have had a past tower moment as well. And, you know, the King of Wands could say that you're like in this boss position where you see everything clearly. You finally understand everything that's like been going on, you know, in your life. And, and it could be like you could be seeing a heartbreak clearly as well. With the uh, Knight of Pentacles, you have the Strength card. Yeah, both, both cards represent patience here, but what I would say is I feel like people are gonna see you as strong. I know I've been saying this for like two years now, but you know, it's like this isn't gonna happen overnight, number one. It's like something that you have to work on consistently. People always leave me comments. They're like, you said I was gonna, people were gonna see me as X, Y, and Z. And I'm always like, yes, do things happen overnight? Uh, last time I checked, no, they don't. And if you haven't been doing the work, then you obviously have to be honest with yourself and realize that it requires work. So, you know, if you've been doing the work, then you'll get the attention. Uh, if you haven't been doing the work, then I would start because there's a lot of attention here. Uh, you have this sea glass card. This is in the area of the good stuff. It says your future is being rewritten 
It says metamorphosis. Damn. I mean, literally judgment to the tower would be like a metamorphosis. You know, it is like, you know, caterpillar soup, as I always say, like, you know, a caterpillar basically turns into soup before it turns into a butterfly. I feel like that's what you've been going through. If you're, if you're saying my life has sucked for the past six months or seven months or eight months or a year, I think this is what's going on. It's like you're going through a deep change. I literally said that at the beginning of the reading. And this deep change is going to lead to a lot of success. Again, something is being rewritten here. Not literally. I feel like you're just like embracing your true self. You have the Page of Swords, Three of Swords, and the Four of Pentacles. Again, this is the good stuff. So it doesn't matter that the three, what comes up here, it's going to be good no matter what. You have, so I feel like some of you could be healing from a heartbreak. For others, you could just be healing in general and, you know, kind of like forgiving things. You could even be forgiving yourself. For, like I said, if you feel like you didn't take action on something in like work or business, you could just be being kind to yourself, which I'm a big fan of being kind to yourself. So, you know, I would keep doing that. But, um, you know, I feel like there's a lot of growth and success coming in here. You have the Page of Swords. So the Page of Swords is a card of being a detective. And I feel like this would be a really good idea for you is like looking into mysteries, like I was saying with that high priestess. If you become interested in something, if you just want to get started on something like a project, a YouTube channel, whatever, I would get moving because <laughs> I feel like there's a lot of success. I do also feel that there could be a person who's interested in you, who is spying on you. And for some of you, I feel like you don't even know who this person is, Pisces, or you know, maybe you just aren't sure if someone is interested, but I feel like someone's interested you have this four of pentacles. For some reason, I feel like you're getting over some insecurities at this time. Again, we have that growing up card. We have, which it's kind of interesting, growing up, metamorphosis, kind of like the same. Um, I feel like these insecurities are things that you've maybe always held on to as like a comfort blanket. And again, this is a good thing because obviously it's gonna lead to growth. With the page of swords, you have the five of cups. Um, you know, I feel like for some of you, this could be a past person who has regrets here. Uh, you know, do whatever you want with that <laughs> is what I would say. I, you know, I feel like you're focused on the future and that's exactly what I would do here, Pisces. Um, you know, again, this person, you know, on the five of cups, normally they are crying over something that is spilt out, you know, and there's two cups behind them. So I feel like you're focusing like, again, with the judgment card in the tower on what you do have, not on what you don't have. And that's exactly what I would do. Yes. With the three of swords, you have the three cups, definitely a celebration, happiness, uh, good things coming in for you after a difficult period of time. And with the four of pentacles, you have the two of swords, again, in the area of the good stuff, you're moving on. This whole entire reading is literally just saying that you're having, you're probably having a revelation, a wake up call uh, that is leading to like a major new beginning. So, you know, that makes sense to me. Uh, we're going to pull five main themes now. You have this bridge card. It says successfully overcoming a problem. Yep. There you go. Uh, you have this tortoise that says slowly but surely getting ahead. Yes, making progress. I would just choose, you know, I always tell people it's like, you know, people think I'm kidding, but it's like literally when I grew this channel, all I did is made one change every single day. That's all I did is tried like one new thing. I don't care if you do like one new thing a week. I think you can make a lot of progress very quickly. It's slow at first, but it speeds up. You have this happiness card. There's a lot of happiness coming in for you. We saw this, the sun. Uh, you have this horse card. It says short journey, a lot of travel opportunity coming in for you. Again, for some of you, it's like maybe you live somewhere that's really expensive. And I feel like, you know, again, you know, coming up the next couple of years, you might be able to find something that's like better, but cheaper. So be on the lookout. Uh, you have this torch card. It says spiritual development, enlightenment, awareness, and understanding. I mean, the whole entire reading was about this. So damn, Pisces, this is a good reading. I like where it's going. Don't do things you hate this week. But other than that, this is amazing. So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your week.